So here is Linda's pelvis, and I can tell that where my hands are placed, you can see that on her right hip, it's hiking higher. Okay, and then if I take each hand and I put them in the front, this is where the hip is, okay? I can feel under my hands that this right hip is actually higher this way than this one. And so I'm gonna have her exaggerate the movement. Linda, can you kind of roll back like that? It's like this is happening. So when I work on her, I want to get this hip to drop down a little bit more and also to lengthen out between the ribs and the top of the pelvis. And then that way, that'll take a lot of pressure off of the low back on this side. So I'm gonna have you roll onto this side. And you get to hug this guy and just bend your knees. And this is gonna go between the knees. Okay, and we're gonna kinda tuck a little bit here. And the first thing I want to do is I just want to roll into her and feel how the movement is in the lumbar spine. And it feels tight. It feels a little thickened. So I'm going to use some muscle energy technique to loosen it. Go ahead, Linda, and move your knee into my hand like you're bringing it to your chest. And relax. This MET is for the psoas. And relax. And again. And relax. And again. I'm feeling for the tissue around the trochanter, this is where the glute, the glute is. Go ahead, squeeze your knees together. Squeeze. And relax. Excellent. Squeeze again. And relax. Let's get the piriformis too. So I want you to lift your leg up in this position, nice and high. Don't let me push down. And relax down all the way to the pillow. Squeeze the inner thighs again. And relax, lift up again. Don't let me push down. And relax down one more time. Squeeze the knees together. And relax. Now I'm going to scoop into the piriformis. Traveling down it. So now I'm going across the piriformis. And I'm also coming down to muscles called the obturators, scooping them up. So Linda, I'm in a, I'm in a traction down. You resist me from the hip. And relax. Good. I'm going to do it one more time. Resist. And relax. I'm going to pull it a little longer. Okay, re relax the hip. Resist again. And relax. Now sink your heel into my hip. Push. Good. I want to engage the muscles of the lumbar spine, the lumbar extensors, to help relax them. So I'm going to have her press her leg into my body, press back into my body. And then I'm going to relax her leg all the way down. Just let it go. Let it go. And back. And relax down. 
So I've opened up the back of the hip a little bit. Now I'm going to work on the sacrum. And I am doing work on the ligaments around the sacrum, trying to get them hydrated, a little looser. So I'm doing a couple different positions. Yeah, I feel more movement happening. Wonderful. All right, let's roll you onto your back. There. We're going to do a stretch to lengthen the QL more. So we're going to bend this leg like this. Take this leg across. This into my hand again. And relax. Moving it across. Press again. And relax. And one more time. I'm just going to move it and resist into me now. And relax. Good. And press up. And relax. And up. And relax. It's tight. Yeah. This is the side of Linda's body where in tennis she's doing a lot of twisting because it's her racket side, her racket arm. So there's a lot of pivoting she's doing in her pelvis on this side. A typical session with her, I'm going to focus on both sides of the pelvis and on both sides of the low back. External range of motion. Neutral. Internal range of motion has increased post-treatment. As you can see, in passive movement, there's a little more ease. And she has so much muscle that it's really fun doing this. I don't feel any need to baby her. <laughs> I'm placing my hands on the top of Linda's uh, ilium on each side, and I can see that the right side lowered. In the beginning, before the treatment, she was hiking higher. It was much shorter on that side. It's now leveled out. She's also not as rotated, so there's a little bit more balance between her pelvis as far as its rotation. This is looking a lot better. Well done. Thank you.